So I thought it'd be useful to make a video comparing HP's two high-end professional financial calculators that are currently for sale, the HP 12C and the 17B2 Plus. They're actually both evolutions of product lines that originated in the 1980s um, and are quite similar in terms of functionality but uh, very different in terms of the user experience. I guess before I start, probably the first question you need to ask yourself is um, if you're not a student doing an exam, why would you even need a financial calculator in the first place? Um, so if you're in accounting, finance, uh, real estate or product manager like myself, you probably spend a lot of time in Excel, but I find it's quite nice to have a handheld calculator uh, to do quick calculations. I definitely find myself picking up one of these devices at work most days. I really appreciate the product design, the usability and tactility they have to offer. And neither of these calculators are cheap. Now, both of them are around $100 new and you can pick up a used one on uh, eBay or fa Facebook Marketplace for $30 or so. Um, in the case of the 12C, some of the older versions have got slightly different designs so you can get the original uh, gold coloured version or there's a, there's a silver, silver colour Bondi as well. So I guess we'll start with the 12C. And look, it's um, physically, you know, obviously this is a landscape format calculator and there's something I really appreciate about uh, this orientation. If you're like me, you'll pick it up with two hands and um, use your thumbs to to key in, um, key in numbers. Uh, the build quality is just great. It's very light. It's only 113 grams, which is considerably lighter than, say, most smartphones. Um, it's got a very sturdy brushed um, aluminum front panel, and it feels very rigid. If you drop it, it's really unlikely that it'll get broken, um, and it's pretty indestructible under normal usage. Uh, the buttons have this kind of amazing, very kind of clicky, tactile feeling to them. Um, and they give you kind of a great sense of confidence that you're not making mistakes when you're keying in numbers. This version of the calculator takes two, uh, th I guess, three volt batteries, which seem to last for a long time. I certainly haven't changed them in the couple of years that I've been, uh, I've had this model. User experience of the 12C is in some ways quite different from, I guess, a regular calculator. Um, in some ways it can be quite arcane, although once you get used to it, it's very powerful. The biggest thing to mention is that by design it uses reverse Polish notation. Uh, although in your models like this one, you can change this to algebraic. Uh, so for, for uh, with reverse Polish notation or RPN, the calculator does its operations on a stack of numbers. Uh, so for example, to add uh, 2 and 2, you go ahead and enter uh, 2 into the stack, um, and then you hit 2 and, and plus. Uh, RPN has some pros and cons over algebraic notation, and I won't go into too uh, much detail around that. Other than um, if you are using the calculator a lot, RPN can be very efficient. Uh, but of course it does get, take some getting used to. You can switch uh, this calculator into algebraic mode as well and um, enter a formula um, in, the, in the way, a normal way that you kind of expect. But I'll switch it back to RPN because it's really designed to be used in RPN. Uh, the 12C relies a lot on uh, these two shift keys, so the orange and, and the blue key, uh, which overrides the, the functions of um, the buttons on the keyboard. And um, the 12C has got all the usual features that you'd expect in a financial calculator, so it's got time value of money, uh, cash flow analysis, you've got um, bond calculations and um, um, depreciation as well. So I guess uh, um, say I'll just as an example um, say we could do a um, compounding interest calculation. Um, so say if I've got a 
$500,000 mortgage, I could enter that into my present value. Um, I want my future value to be zero, of course. Um, so if I've got a 2.5% um, annual interest rate, I'll divide that by 12 to get my monthly interest and say, if I wanted to pay that back over uh, 30 years, I multiply 30 by 12 and enter that in N. Um, and then to get my monthly, um, I get my periodic um, payments. Uh, so, um, I, another thing I find quite useful about this calculator is its three percentage functions. So, that I find very convenient. So, say if I wanted to know, um, say, what 5% of um, 862 is, I'd, I'd enter those numbers on the stack and just hit the, per, the percent key. Um, it also, you can do the opposite, so if you wanted to know what percent of, um, say, 862 number is, let's say 364, you'd enter those onto the stack and then there's the percent key, uh, that will give you 42%. Um, you can also kind of see a delta percentage as well, so say 10 over 8, uh, that's 25%. Uh, delta. Uh, the 12C has got uh, the usual kind of statistics functions where you can enter a series of numbers and calculate mean and uh, standard deviation. It can also do uh, date arithmetic, arithmetic. so to enter dates, <clears throat> enter the day of the month uh, followed by the month and, and the year, uh, enter that on the stack. I'll just change the number of digits it's displaying. Um, and say I, if I wanted to know the number of days between uh, the 2nd of August and say Christmas Day, I'd type the 25th of the 12th, 2020, uh, and hit uh, Delta Days, and that's 145 days to Christmas. Uh, I guess another kind of interesting feature of the 12C is that it's programmability. So uh, it's programmable using keystroke programming. So with keystroke programming, basically you can use the calculator. Um, if you can use the calculator, you can program it because a program is simply a recording of a set of keystrokes that get replayed back when you run the program. Uh, so, for example, say if I wanted to create a program to calculate the area of a circle from a radius, uh, I would uh, enter program mode and I'd kind of assume that the radius has already been entered by the user. Um, I would clear the program space, um, I'd square the radius and then I would multiply it by Pi, um, and then we can kind of return it out of um, program space. And then to just run the program, I would enter a radius and hit run stop. Um, and um, I can I can run the program as to my heart's content. Um, you can also kind of store and retrieve numbers from a bunch of registers and do uh, simple types of looping and conditional branches. Uh, from uh, from um, your keystroke programming. Uh, if you get a 12C, I really recommend that you try and find uh, one of these original um, owner's uh, handbooks. Um, you can also download the PDF online from um, HP's site, but um, it may be really hard to figure out how to use the calculator if you don't have that manual. It's not A lot of it is not not particularly intuitive. So let's move on to the uh, 17B2+. So this is, um, again, this provides a lot of the same functionality as a 12C, but it works in quite a different way. Um, physically, it's obviously uh, portrait orientation. Um, again, it has uh, great build quality and it's very sturdy. It doesn't um, have a, an aluminum front. I think it's just uh, plastic, but it, it feels very, very solid. 
uh, the, the keyboard is also very tactile and kind of satisfying to use. I'm not quite as good as, as the 12C. It only has one shift key um, for overloading uh, keystrokes. Most of the inbuilt functions are available through a set of menus um, that, are that are navigated through these arrow buttons um, at the top of the screen. I guess the, the other thing about it is that uh, it's really designed um, to be used in algebraic mode. So um, although you can change it to RPN, um, it's got an equals key and it's got parentheses. So um, if I type in a formula, um, you'll just see it's kind of um, displays kind of how you would expect it on a, on a regular calculator. Uh, it has all the same financial functions, um, or very similar as, as the 12C. Uh, so for example, if I, if I wanted to do that same time value of money calculation, I'd do it through the, uh, the menu system. So, um, I'd enter my, um, 500k into the present value, I'd enter zero to the future value, interest per year 2.5%. Um, 30 times 12 um, payment periods and then I'd get my um, monthly mortgage payment. Uh, so the, the other kind of big difference with the 12C is that it's uh, the 17B2 Plus isn't really programmable. Um, but what it does have is it has a, um, the HP Solver. Um, and, and I actually really like this feature. Uh, so the way the solver works is that uh, you actually uh, enter in equations. So for example, if we were to kind of pick the same equation, the area of a circle, um, you actually just kind of type it in. So uh, we'll start with um, uh, A equals and then um, pi. Uh, times, let's see, the square. Oh, that's not right. Uh, where's the square? Oh, do do R? I guess we'll do radius. Uh, R and then squared to the power of two. Um, and so, kind of, once we have our equation. Uh, you can exit out and you can just uh, uh, calculate it. So um, with, the, with the HP solver, you can enter in any of the variables and solve for the others. So for example, if I enter uh, 5 in the radius, I can type A uh, to get the area. Um, and similarly, say if I typed in 100 square units into the area, I can solve for uh, to get the radius. Uh, and I really like the solver. Um, I find it really useful. It's, it supports some um, simple types of loops and it's quite surprisingly powerful. Uh, and I like that aspect where you can enter any combination of variables and, and solve for uh, an unknown. Uh, so in summary, I guess, as you can see, these are both really high quality calculators. The 12C has been on the market more or less unchanged since 1981, which is really remarkable. It's really powerful and, um, but also is kind of slightly arcane to use for the average uh, person um, and definitely requires some study to get the best out of it. 17B2 Plus is also a great calculator, has um, the same great build quality um, and is probably a lot easier to use. Uh, it does require a little more navigation through its menus to get to its functionality, um, but the HP Solver is a great feature that a lot of people would find intuitive and useful. Um, it also does currency conversions as well, uh, which I find useful as well. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, two great calculators by HP. I hope you've found this video useful.